Hi everyone, this is Issa. I'll be talking about my placement at Scott Lane Elementary. Um, so Scott Lane is just about two miles from Santa Clara. It's a Title I school, meaning that it has a high student concentration of poverty and it's federally funded to meet its educational goals. I feel especially blessed to be volunteering with such a community because uh, my school district back in South Texas was a Title I school district. So I can relate to these children in a sense. Um, the school's mission is to ensure the success of every scholar by ensuring that scholars cultivate the knowledge, skills, and strength of character needed to succeed in college, career, and life. Um, so at Scott Lane, when the kids, by the time I get there, the kids are having a little bit of recess time before the teachers come back from lunch. And when they do, they uh, file into the classroom and sit on the rug for a writing lesson. Um, after the writing lesson is taught, the children will go into separate tables and work on the lesson. So my job is to um, walk from table to table during the session to prompt the children to stay on task and to help with their writing process and ask them, um, you know, like, what are you working on? What's your next step? What do you need to be doing? Um, and I'll also work one-on-one -on -one with students. Uh, the teacher will ask me to pull them aside and work on writing sentences, because uh, most of the afternoon that I'm there, um, it's mostly writing exercises. So what me and the, ch and the student will do is uh, trace, I'll write a sentence for the student, and the student will trace the sentence, and then we'll read it together so that they can understand, um, they can read and understand what they've wrote. Um, uh, from a developmental perspective, um, there's one boy in the classroom uh, who has trouble writing out words and drawing like recognizable like pictures. Um, I'll usually ask him to tell me what he drew or to talk to me about what he drew and he always has a valid response um, but his scribbles make no sense to me. So a five-year-old in the pre-operational stage, this boy is currently progressing through the second stage of uh, drawing as a form of mental representation so drawing is just one of the um one of the aspects that kind of like stood out to me of something that i see very often in the classroom so that's the um the concept that i chose to target um as part of mental representation in a five-year-old um in relation to vygotsky's theory though in the same situation so vygotsky's theory is about um social interaction right so I noticed that the same boy who does all these scribbles when he does his assignment um, on his own draws more clearly when he's essentially copying one of his classmates that he seems to enjoy being around with. Like they're kind of like best friends in the class and whenever he cop copies his friend's drawings, he they're more clear. Um, so I thought that was very interesting. Um, but I enjoy my time at Scotland Elementary and I'm excited to... Uh, learn more about the kids with the kids with the teacher um, yeah thank you